Okay, guys, so now we want to use this field here in our contacts list. We don't like the name of this custom ones, but we can change that. We're going to call this personal email. So we'll go up here to tools, system options, custom fields, and then here on the list here, we'll drop that down and we'll find the, the name we have here. We are in contacts, custom one. So we'll scroll down through here. There's contact, custom one. And we will change that from custom one to personal email. Hit OK. Now we'll just click on a record here to open it up. And you can see that now we're displaying it as personal email. Let's go ahead and use the quick find feature here. You can see that is listed at the top here. We'll use the context window here. Let's say we wanted to find uh, the entry we just created for Gene Lopez. We could use any of the criteria to do a search. Let's say we just wanted to look up Lopez as a last name. We'll click, click over here. We'll then change first name field to last name. And then we'll click find next and you can see that this is our active record now and that is the one we were looking for. Pretty simple for using the quick find feature. Alright, lastly let's take a look at how to close a job here in our LBE desktop help desk software. So let's say we've got a ticket here that we've been working on. We'll just we'll select this one here. This is where we needed to install a phone for our new associate Gene Lopez. We've put all of our steps in that we needed to do to complete this job. We've made sure we've done all those. Now we want to close our ticket. Simply all we're going to do while we're in here is just go to our job status area here. And we could put time in and any type of costs that were needed. And this might be needed later for estimating jobs or tracking purposes. But for right now all we're going to do is just close the status. We're going to open this drop down and we're going to select closed. Now that we have changed our status, we'll go ahead and save the changes here in our database. Do we need to add to our knowledge base? No. And we've go ahead and you can see your job status now for this ticket is closed. We would add to our knowledge base if we needed. There's information that we might want to reference later. But we didn't need to do that for this activity, so we're just going to go ahead and set our job stats to close and that'll be it for how to close a job.